Welcome to a brief tour of VideoScribe TV Desktop. In this tour, we'll create a quick scribe and then publish it to a movie and put it on YouTube. This is the layout that will be coming to the iPad shortly, so let's create a scribe. When you add an image to the canvas, you're able to set a number of properties, including the drawing style and the time it takes to draw. So on this one we'll use the outline style and choose a colour. OK, let's see how that runs. On our giant canvas we'll add some more images from our library and we'll flip, rotate and again we'll change the colour and the drawing style to outline Now we need to make sure the running order is correct. So we use these little arrow buttons to reorder the elements. That's great, but I don't want the arrows to be drawn like that. We use the camera controls to set and view the camera positions for each element. To do this, we zoom and pan to the correct position and then with the right element selected, we click Set Camera. If we run now, you'll see we zoom out nicely when the arrow is drawn. Right, let's add an image that's not in the library. This could be from a URL, a local file, on your computer, or from Dropbox. For this example, we'll bring in our Sparkle logo, and we'll bring it in from Dropbox. All images that are in VideoScribe are SVGs. These can be created in almost any vector program. We uh, normally use Illustrator. You'll notice when you click the selected image in the properties that you're taken to the current camera position. I'm going to add some text, colour it, and then make it the first thing that we draw using the Go to the Start button. Finally, we'll add a soundtrack. You can't go wrong with a bit of disco. Right, now we're ready to render our video and publish it. Simple. We've separated out the render process from uploading now. So, once you've created your video, you can save it locally, upload it to various places, without having to render it again. Right, let's publish it to YouTube. You can see this example, as published from Videoscribe, on our YouTube channel. I hope you found that quick tour useful. We'll be producing many more tutorials and tours shortly, so keep an eye out for more videos and more examples.